Okay, everyone, procedure for operating a pedicab safely and maintaining your pedicab. First thing before you take your bike out on the AM or PM is first thing, make sure your battery is hooked up. Battery is located, as you all know, under the seat. Then first thing, check that your signals work left and right. If not, do not operate a pedicab or you're subjected to a ticket and fine on the current law of DCA and NYPD. Once upon a working, periodically check your brakes. They're connected, they need to be tightened. tightened. If they're pointing to one side, you get drag, which will affect your driving and slow you down. They need to be adjusted uh, on these brakes. Make sure, just lift your bike up like this. The wheel spins freely. Make sure there's no wobble. This means your bearing needs to be attended to, your inner nuts. Make sure she's finished. Your main brake is your hydraulic. Make sure that operates correctly. It should be a pump and a half, no pump. Each bike varies. Make sure you have pressure. It will be dangerous to drive without hydraulics. You should not operate this vehicle. Take it immediately, service, usually 58 and 7, if your brake fails to work, your hydraulics. Next thing, your headset. Make sure there's no play. If there is, periodically, over a couple of months or two, the bearings settle and need to be tightened and adjusted. Not too tight, but must be perfectly, etc. Okay, folks, now make sure when you're driving, it's very hard to tell without any load. If you hear a slight clicking, this usually means it's either loose or typically from Main Street. They use inferior bottom brackets and they do wear out prematurely. So make sure this comes off, you change your bottom bracket. Make sure your usual, your gears stay in tune, cables do stretch. Make sure all gears go into three for your own comfort. Uh, primarily, it's most important that all seven gears in the back. Your bike does have seven gears, goes from seven to one and vice versa. So if, they, if, if cables stretch or they're out of tune, tune it immediately. Because if you drive them when they're worn out, if you drive them when you're worn out, you will wear out your uh, derailleur and prematurely cost you more money for parts. Make sure they're in tune, your parts will last you longer. Okay guys, also towards your back, make sure your chain, they do stretch over time, the back chain needs to be tightened. And then also on the back, spin your pedals as such. If you experience any drag, you'll notice discomfort when you're driving, it'll slow you down. That's because you drag. Your axles need to be adjusted so they're centered and spin freely as such. They should also spin in both directions as I'm doing. Without any impedance. Basically, you should spin freely as, as uh, this spine sample over here, and you'll have trouble free riding and uh, ease of operation. Also, last thing, folks, at least once a week, especially when it rains, make sure you wipe your chains down, have plenty of dirty rags, clean it off, and always oil your chains. Not too much, just enough as it spins as such. You hold your oil container as such and let it spin. Usually this one, you have the bike on the ground, the top. For the back chain, the bike is up as it is. And just oil, put some oil from the top here as it spins, as the wheels turn around. You spin it. Wipe it with a rag and the excess oil, and you'll have trouble-free, smooth operation. Your gears will just switch fine, too. And as I said earlier, one last thing, all seven gears, in order for the longevity of the life of your parts and uh, ease of driving and operation, get the maximum performance, uh, must make sure it's always in tune. If it's driving out of tune, you hear skipping and clicking. Attend to it immediately.